want it. We want that emotional attachment. We want that connection with that person. We want that fight for me kind of love. Yeah, but so many of us don't get it. No, but I don't care whether you're from Wall Street mm. or Main Street. Or I, even the back street. I tell you what, you're on the back side of the wall and we're all screaming the yeah. same thing. We're saying, how? How do yeah. I get there? So there's three questions we we're going to give you so you can ask yourself so you can get through that wall. And the first one is, how do I make myself more accessible to my partner? That means that they feel mm. like a priority, like you are present right yeah. there with them. Put your spouse in your day timer. Put her on your phone. Matter of fact, speaking of the phone, when you do go out, shut the thing off. It'll make a real difference. How about just stop what you're doing and actually look into their eyes? Mm. I dare you to see how often you talk and you're not even looking at each other. Yeah. I tell you what, the next thing you can ask yourself is how can I yeah. be more responsive? Uh, responsive is when you're listening to the person, but but not just, just to their words. You gotta listen to their heart. What are they trying to say to you? And many times I have no idea what he's trying to say, so I ask questions, and so I can try to yeah. gain understanding. Yeah. And by that, you're gonna ask the third question, and it's how to stay engaged with your partner. That's that connection. Mm. Even when you're not together, do you, can yeah. you call each other? Yeah. Can you text each other? Can you email and stay connected? There's a clear pursuit in this relationship. I value you, I want to be with you. You're staying connected in that way. You never regret putting your marriage, your family first, and you know what? Even be better connected to the ones you love. You take care and God bless. Thank you.